Here are the tools needed to replace the pistons, valves, and seals in the RR pump series. Here are the kits and their included parts. To replace the discharge valves and O-rings on this pump, you need to remove the three valve caps located at the top of the manifold with a 24mm hex socket. Clean the valve caps and any thread adhesive. Make sure you use your thumbs to clean the O-ring. Using something sharp may pierce the O-ring. Then clean the threads near the valve. If there is any leftover thread adhesive, you may damage the threads. Next, using a pair of needle nose or reverse pliers, remove the valves by grasping the plastic valve cage and pull straight out. Then using a mechanics pick, lift out the O-rings in the bottom. To install the new valves, make sure the O-rings are completely seated in the bottom of the cylinder. Then install the valve squarely on the O-ring. To put the valve cap securely back on, you will need a drop of thread adhesive on each cap. Make sure the adhesive is medium strength. Torquing to 478 inch pounds will make sure the valve caps stay on nice and tight. The three inlet valves are the exact same as the three discharge valves, but are located on the front of the manifold. To change the seals, start by removing the 8 manifold bolts using a 6mm hex socket. This pump is small enough that you can lift off the manifold by hand. Replacing the pistons requires the piston nuts to be taken off with a 13mm hex socket. Removing the copper washers requires the use of a razor blade. To remove plungers, twist and pull. Remove the brass slingers. Next, take off the small O-ring attached to the piston rod. To put the new O-rings on, roll over the piston rod until they are in position. Add a tiny amount of oil for easy plunger reassembly. Then you put the new slingers back on and gently slide the new pistons into place. Add on the new copper washers and add a drop of medium strength thread adhesive on the piston nut threads.
you will need to torque them to 106 inch pounds. Next, remove the rear piston guide using a reversible pliers, grasp the seal under the piston guide, and wiggle side to side while pulling. Do not scratch the metal walls inside the pump. The parts inside of the manifold start with the three support rings with their flat side down. Then comes the high pressure seals which you have to firmly press in. Put the high pressure seal in at an angle and work the edges in. Add the backup ring onto the top. Make sure the backup rings go in evenly. For the front piston guide, make sure that the arch side is on the top of the new ring below it. Next, take the low pressure seal and fit the PTFE scraper into the top. Just as I did, place the rear piston guide onto the other two components. Put the O-ring on the outside and you are ready to press it in with the seal facing down. Place the head onto the plunger and tap the head on. Install the head bolts and torque to 225 inch pounds using an alternating pattern to evenly distribute pressure.